Turning now. So how old is this machine? It's about 100 years old. And uh, what kind of printing was it uh, known for? Well, this is letterpress printing. And uh, it was used, uh, you know, in here in Edson, you know, on the early newspaper. So this would have printed early liters, I guess? Yeah. Yep, because there's enough space there. You can, uh, we've got, we're printing a small area now, but you could print a much larger area. Okay. Up to 10, 10 by 15 inches. So how does it actually work? Well, this is the ink disc, and these are the ink rollers. We call this the platen. And, uh, and then this wood thing here, normally they're made out of metal, but uh, I made one out of wood. And it's, uh, it's called the chase. It's really it's like a, a frame to hold all the type. Or some cases, they can use cuts, you know, different images. And uh, so, of course, the ink rollers come down and ink the type. And a good operator can run this a lot faster than I am. So how long would something like this have been in, I guess, in service? How long has it been in service? Like, well, I guess when would it have been de decommissioned? Well, what really changed was offset typing, or printing, offset printing, which they do today. And uh, so instead of printing direct like this is, where the, you can actually see the impression right in the paper. Mm -hmm. And uh, today it's rolled on one roll and goes on to another roll. And so you don't get that impression with today's, but it's much faster. Today a printer could probably print a thousand copies in, in probably 15 minutes. It'd probably take me an hour to do the same thing. <laughs> so do you know roughly when uh, printing presses like this, uh, I guess, fell out of style? or stop being used? Yeah, probably 1950s, 40s, 50s. Now they're still being used today. There are specialty shops that still use this kind of press because, because of the very special printing it does, because it actually presses right into the paper. And, uh, and you can do a lot with it. You can, sh of course, use different colors and you can uh, you can even do some embossing with it. You know, when it's set up in a certain way. So there are places, even in Edmonton, there are places that uh, actually do use letterpress printing to do special things like wedding invitations.